what was the foundation for the liberty of America? What was the light that was so woven into the fabric of the country that it united the states? It is an undeniable fact that the gospel of Jesus Christ was that liberty and light. And here's another proof. General George Washington in 1775 wanted the favor of God, so he made sure that the soldiers' behavior was honorable and that they attended Christian church services regularly. This is a fact. George Washington commanded that the Continental Army attend Christian church services. Here's a quote from his orders. The general most earnestly requires and expects a due observance of those articles of war established for the government of the army, which forbid profane cursing, swearing, and drunkenness, and in like manner requires and expects of all officers and soldiers not engaged on actual duty, a punctual attendance on divine service to implore the blessings of heaven upon the means used for our safety and defense. This wasn't just the action of a single Christian commander. The entire Congress agreed. They adopted rules and regulations for the Navy in 1775. They feared moral corruption and demanded that skippers of American ships point their crews to the Bible. As a side note, look at how some in government and our military today are trying to remove every reference to the Bible. That is the exact opposite of what our founders wanted, and now you have proof from 1775. Here's a quote from the second article in Rules and Regulations of the Navy, ordering all commanders to take care that divine services be performed twice a day on board and a sermon preached on Sundays. Article 3 goes on to prescribe the punishment for swears and blasphemers. So the Congress prescribed a punishment for blasphemy. To speak against God was a punishable crime in the Navy. That is how strongly our founders felt about Christianity in the government. They didn't separate it, they included and embraced it. They held services on naval ships twice per day and required the army to attend services. America doesn't need to follow a regressive path to look like every other nation. We need to light the flames of liberty again and follow the gospel to set people free. The light of liberty is found in the gospel of Jesus Christ and it seems that General George Washington, the Congress from 1775 and our founders agree. Reflect on that for a moment. God bless you.